Hey everybody, it's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. First of all, to those that left those very nice comments, thank you so much. God bless you. You, you helped me more than you know. Well, you probably do know. But there is something I want to tell my 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 uh, usual uh, followers every day uh, at the end of the, the video. Could be, let me get everybody else first. But stay to the end or click to the end after you see what you need to see. There's something I want to say to you. Now, we have the updates out. And I'd like to say proudly that the prayers have been answered from God. The cold water is, is, is too cold for it. The wind shear is being too much for it. It is weakened down to 85 miles per hour. And I say that with a smile. Uh, the pressure is 977. Uh, sit moving, but it's moving 17 miles per hour northwest, so it is moving pretty quick. Now, the, tr the probability of tropical storm force winds has shrunk some, and it's going back down. And I will show you that exactly what's going to happen. And I only want to show you tropical storm force winds, because I still believe that me, me praying to God the other day on the video, and everybody watching it and believing it as well, that faith, he will answer. He wants us to want him. So those that don't believe, you better start thinking your ways. Uh, the one difference I do see is the shape of the, the 6 to 10 inches of rainfall from Louisiana to Mississippi within the next five days. Uh, it's, it did change shape. Some of this turned yellow. That was orange because this was a, a, almost a complete oval of here. And all the heaviest rainfall, uh, the 10 to 15, will be offshore. So that's a, that's a good thing. Now, as far as timing, this is your right here. You see your early reasonable time for tropical storm force winds. That's, guys, that's, that's 39 miles per hour at the minimum. That's why it's such a big area. Not all this area is going to be eat up by what everybody's done grow this fear to, which I really hate. That's why I didn't make a video about the intensity that this storm was going to do, because that's not going to be what we're going to see. So why, why do that? But it, it was one heck of a storm. I ain't going to lie. Now, within this circle, you are within risk of 30, 39 miles per hour tropical storms, and that's definitely that's in there. Now, as far as the intensity of who sees what, that's what we need to figure out, right? But here's the times that you're going to start seeing these. So, southern Texas, you're going to start seeing it from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and then it's going to move up from then from 8 p.m. to Friday, 8 a.m., and it's going to be halfway all It's going to be a fast-moving storm. I mean, it's going to whip through. I've seen some cells going on lately. It's, it's been unreal in today's just severe weather. Now, here's your storm surge inundation that's going on, and this has changed as well. Uh, if you notice the colors that we have, the blue is greater than, than one foot above ground. Now, this blue was stretching all the way past Houston, way over here. You still got a, a few dots. Uh, left, but it was stretching all the way to Pensacola as well. And Mobile, you you still getting yours, but it, it's it's shrunk down. A lot of that disappeared. Now yellow, you have greater than three feet, okay, above ground. Uh, orange is greater than six feet, and red is greater than nine feet. So you can see that the general location for the storm surge is going to be on the right side of the storm cell because that that twist in motion is going to throw all that water on shore. So that would be this general area. So there's the eye of the storm then would make it somewhere from Lafayette to Lake Charles. I think a little east of Lake Charles. Sorry to say, guys. I know I know y'all been through enough, but I, if I wouldn't be bringing you the truth, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be bringing being real with you. I mean, that's what I have. So y'all are gonna be getting some winds. You are gonna be getting some rain through this. Uh, but keep in mind that this thing is gonna weaken as soon as it hits this cold water. It's gonna go down. I think you only have tropical storm force winds and and probabilities in that area uh, as well as uh, a, a, a small 30 mile section that has probabilities of hurricane force winds now if you look on infrared you can see the size of the storm it is big with rain but the actual impact size uh, from the, the dark red is a very small area okay now if you look on the visible radar you'll see that the storm is moving like this, okay? But the, these wind, these clouds that you see moving in the northeast direction, all the way across it, this is the wind shear. This is ripping it to pieces, okay? So it is going to weaken even more. Believe that. Now, GFS has it 48 hours. You're going to start, I mean, even though you're going to be seeing rain, I know y'all still seeing rain before that, but in 48 hours, you're going to start seeing the tip of the thunderstorms 
that's going to start moving through. Now, as it goes, it goes from a 965 and it goes down to a 970 on landfall. So, guys, just so you know, 970 puts it right on a lower Cat 2. So, if it goes just a little bit more, it's going to be a high end Cat 1, but it's still a Cat 1. I think it's going to go down even lower. Now, the, now the, that was GFS on the Euro. It shows it a little more intensity, but it shows it a little earlier, uh, six hours earlier. Uh, you're going to be getting, a, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to be getting a thunderstorm edge. And that's in the 48 hour range. And then by the time that moves in, it goes from 952, somewhere in between 952 and 967, it's going to be the millibar pressure of this storm as well. And if you look at 952 and 967, 967 is still a low end CAT 2. And I do believe that this will go down even more. Uh, now, let me show you what you're looking at here. This is, the, I put wind rallies on so you can see exactly what's going on because I am guarantee you this thing is weakening, guys. Now, this, the hard pink that you see. I don't know why this says, right here it says 1. It must be because it weakened over land, but it must still have wind rallies of Cat 2 winds. It's showing 86 miles per hour winds with a gust of 104 miles per hour. Now, that's this circle here. Cat 1 is the lighter pink circle. The dark pink is Cat 2 winds. And that's why you see this here. It's all together wind rally. You got the Cat 2 winds. You got the, you got the Cat 1 winds. And this big blue section is tropical storm winds. I want you to remember that because it's very important when we get to the section right here. Now this is a section we want to know about. Now if you notice, when it goes from this section from a, being a Cat 3 to this section where it shows and it says Cat 1, when I first loaded the model, it, I mean it says Cat 2, when I first loaded the model it said 1 right there and they changed that. So that data has changed, like they don't know what's going to happen. But if you notice, the Cat 2 dark pink is not there because that is weakening. And if you notice also, you have tropical storm warnings all on the east side over here because it's going to be spinning counterclockwise and y'all going to be getting rain and winds over there. And then you also have it over here in Texas. But the hurricane warning has disappeared. It is not on the data. And then when, you, when, I, when I run a data, you'll see that one image, the image right on landfall, does not show. It does, it does a glitch. So imagine that. So here we go. Here's what you have. You're going to start getting bands, of course. You're going to start feeling this. This is on the 8th. Uh, the timestamp is on the top left. I'm going into the afternoon of the 8th. Just making sure that's tomorrow. Look at that bad band going across from Florida to across Jackson all the way across Louisiana. That's some bad thunderstorms right there. we got to watch out for tornadoes in those. But the worst part of the tornadoes is the rain bands because they're already spinning. Look at those bad storms right there. And then it comes towards land, and it's already doing a lot of storms to Louisiana. Look, it does a glitch on, rain, on, on landfall. Look at all that heavy rain, flash flooding, severe thunderstorms that you're going to be getting from that. Even though you got bad rain, you got a band of storms coming, and those burn through for hours. And then it starts moving in pretty bad, but the really bad part, also for eastern Texas, starts moving in on the 9th. Right at 7 o'clock in the morning, guys. You're going to wake up to all these storms. If you even went to bed from the night before worrying about this hurricane. So I don't blame you. But there you go. Really bad storms and then it breaks down. Don't know what happens right there. And then landfall is showing on the 9th would be at 7 p.m. So that's 12 hours later. Okay. Now, for those that I, I asked to come to the end of the video... This is your marker. Also, if you notice this red here, uh, tropical storm watch that is around this corner as well. Because the, the blue is tropical storm force winds. There's a wind rally. So this blue area here is going to be tropical storm force winds right here also. So if you want to know if it's in your area for the tropical storm force, this is exactly how as close as the model is getting it. Uh, try doing HRR. And HRR only does 18 hours and it's barely even getting into the golf at that time. So... But I'll continue it so people can see in the northeast also what happens. But there is one, one model that shows it to do a, a queer, uh, sorry, a weird ping, if you see that. And it goes all the way towards the edge of Florida. So I don't know about that one, but that's, every possibility is out there. So they're showing them, I guess. Now I'm going to play this for you so you can follow this through. 
and see everything with the storm. Uh, for those that I asked to stay, uh, I want to thank you because I, I felt lost and I, actually I wanted to get a, a speaker box and go preach the word on the street. I mean, I, I just feel it burning inside me and it bothers me when you don't do something like that. It, you know, I just feel like you're doing something wrong. You just, it bothers you that much. You didn't, and you can't enjoy anything until you get okay with that. So I, I went and laid down. I was just, I'm going to start, I'm going to start a, a second channel. I'm trying to reach the younger crowd. I noticed they're more uh, with the heart and heart and, and they need the most help. So I'm still going to upload every morning here. Uh, it's it's going to be one upload every day. This, I'm just, I couldn't resist this update to let y'all know, guys, that the prayers have, have been answered. God did answer our prayers, and the storm is weakening greatly. Um, but I went and laid down. I was going to start the second channel, and I just didn't have the energy. I was so distraught. Uh, I went and laid down, and I about cried myself to sleep almost a little bit. <clears throat> After I beat myself up, and I said, shut up, cry, baby, and I went to sleep. But I got up, and I got up to this good news. And, and I thank God, first thing I did, my wife and I both thank God. He, he does answer your prayers, guys. You just got to believe. And, and those say, hey, you don't answer my prayers. That's because you didn't believe. So that's why I didn't get answered. You got to live by faith, man. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. And, and <laughs> the comments. Thank you so much. Y'all y'all pulled me up. Thank you so much for, for what y'all said. I, I really appreciate that. If you're still watching this video, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You helped me. I, I didn't know there was so much out there. I didn't expect to, to come back to much when after I woke up. But wow, thank you. I appreciate it. And after I start my second channel and get a foundation with the younger kids, I will let y'all know where you can find me. But I'll still be here every morning. Doing, a little, doing one video every day for you guys and praying with you guys until our final days. Amen. Now, I'd like to share with you something that really means good to me and it, and it shows me that God does answer your prayers is just another point on it. Um, I closed my eyes and I went to open my book and I knew if I wanted to praise God, I'd praise by uh, reading Psalms. I love Psalms. I love I love all of them. <laughs> uh, I closed my eyes and I said, "My mind's on you. My mind is clear. Give me a number if it is your will." And He gave me the number three. And when when I read three. Psalms 3. Lord, <clears throat> how are they increase that trouble that trouble me? I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. A Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom his son. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. Salah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and a lifter up of mine hand, my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Salah. I laid me down and slept. I awakened, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. O rise, O Lord, save me. O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We, we appreciate you for answering our prayers on weakening the storm. And like we asked in the original prayer of Father, we asked if it's your will. We want this to be a tropical storm. They can deal with that. They, they can't deal with nothing more than that. 
for they've been through so much already. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you all have a, a great day. And I hope I wake up in the morning and this is all the way tropical storm, man. All glory goes to God. Amen.